make these two all together raking and we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bilge tank. In, in the, the big bilge tank. tank. Come and join our pirate crew in, in the, the big, big bilge tank. tank. We will show you what to do. And we'll hack it till we crack it and we'll tell the world about it and forget to tidy up. That's why it's now a bilge tank. Hello and welcome to episode 065 of the bilge tank. I'm here with Sandy and Phil. Hello. And we got some new products for you today. We got some uh, stuff to look at. Scooch. We found on the internet that are internets. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Lots of new products because we're coming up to the holiday season, folks. It's Christmas. Yay. What did you want to talk about first, Sandy? Um, do you want to do the blinks, Alex Ellis's blinked Alexa? Yeah, let's show that. It's um, kind so of fun, isn't it? Alex Alexa. Ellis, who's a web developer. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's web stuff actually, but yeah, he's a software yeah. developer. Yeah, software be, developer. Be careful sure. of using the term web developer. Yeah. Don't bandy that around. Yeah. It's very offensive. Um, has been playing with the Amazon Echo Dot, um, which is the smaller version of the Amazon Echo, uh, the one that we showed on Bilge Tank about a month ago, I think yes. it was, um, yes. and had quite a lot of fun with. So is this um, one is a cheaper version, is it? Yeah, it's for 50 quid. Right. Um, does all the same stuff as the other one, but speak speakers not as good on it. And I think the mics are probably not quite as good, but right. um, okay. cool. it's, yeah, it's like a third in price in full size one. Um, and they have a, um, they have an API that you can um, write stuff for with Amazon Web Services. Do you give it like code yeah. words and say, "Listen for this"? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you get like just natural speech out of it? Can you just have it like, um, stream communication? I think to a certain extent, but I think. Mm. It, it has to have the keywords to pick out to then trigger. So it's more like action. it's more like you kind of say, "Here's my language menu system." Yeah. If I say blinked, go red, then that's enough for it to pick up and trigger an event. Exactly. So right. it's the same as like Siri can. Siri has a bit of flexibility in that you can either say switch the lights on or turn the lights on or. Wow, that guy's so flexible. <laughs> put, put the lights on. Fair enough. Uh, girl. I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can yeah. give Siri a mail automated. voice. Yeah. Un right. undeter undetermined gender. Nobody ever does yes. that. Um, Smart. So Alex has um, been kind of hooking into some of our products like Blinked and the Envirofat. Mm -hmm. um, and so he can control them with his voice and he can see. Cool. Master uh, of his own domain. Let's, let's just show it because uh, that's, that's the. Um, you can, can do this, it, Sandy. Yeah, can do you can do this. <laughs> Nail it. No, no. no. You managed to press two keys at the same no, time. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can Where's just use the, we can use the super Where camera. The Where's the tablet, tablet gone? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, the... the, the um, it's connected. <laughs> oh, I don't actually think the other end of that cable is plugged into anything. To well, we'll not show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a link Let's in the just credits. point the camera at the screen. Uh, we should I've got check the camera. First. I've got the camera. We should show the um, He has a. Uh, you want me to do a, a he quick has a YouTube. Hot swap. Go on. A quick hot swap. Because it's work show. <laughs> Go on then. Let's do this. I'm the master of quick hot swaps. Um, so in the meantime, we'll be talking about new products. <laughs> oh, Phil will be mere yeah. moments. Yeah. He's so yeah. agile. Yeah, there's a. I think there's a port out on this. We can tease what uh, we're right. going to talk about. Can do we have to swap the pie away from it then? Yeah. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, this end port is toasty. Oh. Okay, here we go. Switcheroo. Brilliant. Do you want to just stay there, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> so we can change you back in a minute. La, la, la. We'll just play the video. Here we go. So uh, this is the, the blinked on the left and the Alexa Echo Dot on the right. Yeah. And I th we think that you get audio from this, but we're not entirely. Yeah, it should so. be audio. Yeah. No. Oh, oh John. John, what have you done? We are in technical crisis today, <laughs> let's be honest. We need, oh, like, we need a card that we can flash up that says technical dif dif difficulties, please bear with us. <laughs> yeah, I think. So this is kind of cool. Yeah. Invisible. I, I guess you could use this with moat. I mean, it's kind of cool with blinked, but if you use moat, you could actually have like under lighting and cabinets and something. Yeah, you could do anything with it. Alexa, so, I feel blue. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all gone off the rail. Very nice. Yeah. Can we swap back, Bill? We can. Thank we you, can. sir. <laughs> Much appreciated. Totally oh, that's really annoying. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with Sandy Port. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, we well. have to tell yeah. we are fixing. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good day on the uh, cameras. 
<laughs> right, let's go. Yeah, oh, that means we can't shoot. We better do the demo and then yeah, go to yeah, surface yeah. only That's from right. that point. Okay, so pan tilt hurt. It's coming tomorrow. Yep. Very exciting. <coughs> so it is. Um, we don't have a bagged up one, do we? But we don't um, have one. Essentially, it comes as a kit with the hat <laughs> itself. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, there's a yeah, there's a pan tilt module. Um, so these are basically the same as the what the. Uh, the ones that we sell separately. They're the same pantop modules, the same, which yeah. is cool, but the, the hat has everything integrated onto it exactly. to control it from yeah. a Pi. So yeah. it has a, a microcontroller that does all the servo timing. And you talk to it via R2C. You do talk you to it via R2C, yeah. And say, I want you to point in that direction or that direction. Here, yeah, here we've just got a Explorer Fat and Pantilt hat on the same mini black hat hacker. And then we've hooked up one of the analog operator joysticks that we have in the store. So that you can control your camera, so you can be like yeah, a super ninja, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, which is kind of fun. So you can, can use you, that. As well. Oh look, behind the curtain. Can you move the close up so we can see the actual. <laughs> I'm trying to find you, Sandy. Ooh. Where are you? There you are. Move <laughs> the close up. Here it goes. <laughs> Extreme <laughs> zoom. So it's quite cool, there. Eh? Obviously, it mounts on top of Pi, so it's quite nice if you want to do like. Um, uh, security camera installation or something up in the corner of a room, uh, and then you could obviously control the the X Y or the a face tracking tilt. robot and silly things like that. Yeah, you could have like a little website to control the pan tilt. Also, you don't have to mount a camera on the pan tilt. You could mount a Nerf gun on there. Or something like that. <laughs> Not that you condone such actions. No, I definitely condone such actions. Or a crossbow. <laughs> or a cross. No. <laughs> it's kind of fun though. A cannon. <laughs> Can I get as far as Phil? I don't know. We can't, no, 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 can we not it's... tilt that far? <laughs> <laughs> pan, not tilt. Pan. That's the pan. There's our monitor and camera. Yeah. yeah. So what, what's pan. the range of movement? Is it 180? Yeah, it's like direction. minus 90 to yeah. 90. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. we, the way Roughly. we've placed it down is so that it kind of points out of the back of the pipe, yeah. so away from the cables and stuff. Um, or you can, well, you could mount it the other way around as well, couldn't you? Just yes. as long as you put if the cables you out so of the way. Inclined, you can mount yeah. it either way. Around. But you can't mount cool. it at 90 degrees because the, the foot of the camera is rectangular. Not square. Not square. No. So, it's probably worth showing yeah. the actual hat because uh, yeah. it's, got, it's got a few kind of differences to your... Uh, Do you want to go full screen on the hat? It's regular. It's uh, yeah. Yes, this is one of the first hats that we've ever oh. cut a hole in. That one. There you go. Uh, and the other thing that's quite nice, you get the two servo drivers, obviously, um, for the pan and the tilt actions, uh, but also a light connection. So you can use a NearPixel ring as a, as a light source for the camera, and it supports NearPixels and like basic PWM. Basic PWM lighting controllers, control. yeah, like uh, Boa, BFBR, B B B B B Jason Barnett's um, lighting ring, Bo yeah. Bo Boab. I can't pronounce your name! <laughs> and it will support again? up to 24 so, NearPixels. Driver chip being um, the pick out on the edge here. It's so, pretty cool. Yeah, so basically you just get the the wires that come from the pan tilt module, stick them through the hole, and then connect up the the jumper wires to the. Do you want to show that one, Phil? Yeah, and they come in right angle. Here's pins. one we made earlier. It comes fully assembled. Yeah. So you you literally just plug the uh, the servo modules in, and away you go. Yeah. Everything else is on there. It's pretty cool, actually. It's a nice fun project. And with OpenCV and stuff, you can do face tracking. I think do, we've yeah. shown a demo of that we've before. We've got a we? pan tilt face tracker GitHub repository actually wow. that, that gets you started with that. You can also do Very object cool. tracking as well. And updates. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so you can do like custom objects. So you could get it to follow, you could get it to like follow red balls or um, <laughs> all those red balls that I need. <laughs> There's so many of them. Apples, um, oranges maybe. Yeah. Uh, bananas. If you have like poltergeist yeah. activity and you yeah. want to check they aren't snuffing the apple, <laughs> apples out of the fruit bowl. Cats, and, uh, dogs. Cats, dogs, all that kind of thing. Yeah. So that's Cat very tracking. cool. Uh, the other thing that you get with it is the, um, this kind of laser cut shim for mounting the camera itself, uh, which kind of adapts the... I'm stuck that on top. Okay. Okay. I just take that off now, actually. To I wonder what this plate is no, actually... No, no, <laughs> don't kill it, don't hurt it. I wonder why these clips are like this. I wonder what it's designed to go onto. I've never seen like anything attached to that. Um, but yeah, Sandy's done like a, a set of plates Ooh, that I've got it on, on, on. on. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, right. yeah, so let's set. Oh, he's taking it away from you, Phil. That's it. <laughs> stop it! Stop! Stop! Um, oh. So 
if you can, uh, can you turn it back, that would be full. Proud of it. Yeah, oh, turn, turn it back oh. towards the camera. That's as far as it will go. Right, okay, so basically no, there's hold a... Hold let, let's, just, let's just do the old... Yeah, there's a shim layer on the bottom. Do you want to take that um, out? Freestyle! Oh. Yeah. yeah, let's just take, we'll it, take out it out and fit it to this one, actually. There that's, that's the best way to show it. Right, okay. so... camera is panning too fast. So you've got your... Um, Some professionals. You've got your pan tilt. Um, this layer clips into the... You know we're not showing this on there, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're not having a good camera day today. Uh, it was, it was Paul's okay, birthday okay. yesterday and we, we might all be a little <laughs> under the weather. Right. Um, cool. So, yeah, uh, so this, like this bottom the shim. shim layer kind of sits in there. Then you've got the your... I'll just take the yeah. cable off you. Yeah. The rest of your assembly. Um, then you've got the camera that's... Um, screwed onto these two layers of three mil perspex um, and then that basically just clips in it's quite a tight fit I'm literally holding but my breath here to try and hold the camera steady it does fit quite snugly um, there Ooh, we go nice Lovely. that is as they say skookum <laughs> <laughs> It actually it. looks looks kind of designed for it. In a it sense, does look properly it? integrated. Yeah, it's quite yeah. nice. Fully integrated. Cannot. And it allows the allows the pan tilt to go all the way down to the kind of extent of its movement as well. Um, Smart. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So that will be available in the shop tomorrow. Very exciting. Phil, could you plug the other cable back? <laughs> I hate you. Since you've just been there and you know what you're looking at. <laughs> I'm um, surprised the other one still hasn't come alive. I think that port is just too Oh, did you, swap, did you swap it over? To oh, the other I, port? I, I put the other port back in again. And uh, uh, it's, just, it's just not working. It's not, is it? it? Yeah. I think, I think oh, that well. port has just had its day. No. Um, so the other new product we have is Automation Fat. Very cool. Um, so that. Automation Fat is the little brother of the... <laughs> Full size automation hat. Um, automation hat has um, three relays um, that you can switch um, things up to 24 volts, um, uh, either you know 12 volt things or um, 24 volts or. It's basically all 24 volt or tolerance. Or, or five volts. Yeah, you know. exactly. It's just tolerance 24 volts. Um, it has uh, three inputs. Uh, three outputs as well that are kind of regular um, inputs and outputs yeah. that are tolerant up to 24 volts as well. So kind of similar to Explorer Hat Pro. Um, it has uh, ADCs that are 24, 24 volts. Volt. There's, a, there's a common theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. 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 Everything um, is. Yeah, we thought 24 volts was a nice compromise. It lets you integrate with a lot of different types of systems. Yeah. It's not as restrictive as like the 3v3 on Pi or the 5 volts on Arduino. So it yeah. gives you... It gives you more scope. And it's got LEDs on it for all of the, the inputs. Yeah, because we love LEDs. Um, Automation Fat has um, all of the same stuff, apart from the fact it's only got one relay. Um, Do you want to stick it on the close-up with Phil? It doesn't have yeah. any I thought I had one. Oh, I had it in the packet there. Mm -hmm. oh, that was just the... Ba -ba -da -da. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'm all Oop. close up. Lovely. So um, we've got the one relay. The same syncing outputs, the same, same ADC, volt yeah. with the exception of the five, uh, sorry, three point three volt tolerant ADC channel. That's not on there, is it? Yeah, not, not on this one. No. On this one. Um, and, the, and the LEDs aren't on there either. So yeah, basically, the big no, differences between nice. the hat and the fat mm -hmm. are that the fat only has one relay channel and no indicator no LEDs. LEDs. So, um, but it's twelve pounds. So the, the automation hat for smaller projects or where you only need a single relay, um, it's a lot cheaper than using the full-size hat. The full-size one is? 27. Is yeah. So, so relays are not cheap. Less than half the price. Yeah, exactly. It's a good, good product. Uh, and you get everything you need in there. Obviously, you solder yourself. You've got your hat header. You've got a 14-pole, 3.5mm screw terminal block. And the hat itself. Ready to roll. Sweet. Software library's up, Phil. It's yes. basically the same it's library the same as the hat, right? same software so. library, except that it knows that the fat is connected and basically just goes, ah, there's only one relay and no lights on this. Smart. Let's you carry on using it. 
And that's available right now. It's in the shop at the moment. Very cool. Okay, looking nice. Right, are we going to talk about... Well, should we finish new products since we're yeah, 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 no, yeah, we'll yeah. This stuff is cool. So the yeah, next thing we've got is, is super this? awesome. Well, that one's a bit ridiculous. That's a classroom pack. <laughs> wow. This is um, this amazing. Actually, we we'll use use close-up. This is um, a system called MakeThu, and it's a set of tools for children to create projects with cardboard, basically corrugated card. Um, they have like a plastic saw and a, a little screwdriver and these plastic screws that have these massive threads on them so that you can screw them straight through pieces of card. Yeah, card do what, do what. Which is very cool. I think we've got a demo, haven't we, Sandy? Have we? Yes. We did, yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah. Emma make something? Yeah. <laughs> Briefly. I'm actually well. surprised by how good the construction quality of this They're amazing. Is. They're so cool. Quality hat is and the, they're quite... There you go. <laughs> they're the pirate hat made by Emma in the minutes before Bilge Tank. Um, they do work. Very nice. So you get like a little that, driver. You that screwdriver screws. reminds me of something. Sure. Show it on the camera. If you want. That's actually why I've got a bit of a red yeah. mark on my forehead. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> you got stabbed by the screws. Because <laughs> you got stabbed by the screws that were inside it. <laughs> no. And that's a short screw, and they do a long version as well. Very interesting. Can you go close up. Close up. Done. How close can we go? Ooh, you got long there version. we go. You can see the. Thread on that little screw. So will we actually do some? Um, Let's cut something. Uh, Let's, we've, I haven't even tried this yet. It arrived this morning. We've like, been like really excited, waiting for this to arrive. So we think it's very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, sure. You can start cutting it and fill it with one sort. We've got a saw. Ah, oh, wow. This uh, is this is hardcore. Here's Johnny with jewel serrations. So this is probably quite noisy. Sorry. It's going to be quite noisy. Oh, that's that very thick really cardboard you're cutting there. That's like is. triple, triple corrugated cardboard. Triple corrugated. Go on, Sam. <sighs> Amazing. Right, it's such a I want to try screwing one in, because I haven't tried it yet. I need the punchy thing. Screw that thing. Punchy thing. Oh, you've got to tap a hole. Very you nice. Tap your hole. Mechanical. One screw. Put that in there, get your driver. That's awesome. It's really cool. <laughs> <to> be satisfying. <laughs> that just works. And it gives you a hinge as well, so you actually have hinged cardboard and stuff. Only we have a big hand. That's ah. a giant toothbrush, Phil. <laughs> have you flossed today? Ah. Excellent. <laughs> Love it. Make do. It's in the store now. Um, they are very, very cool. I think the this this is the this is like the most obvious version because you get the that's no knife. The is. saw, you get the screwdriver, you get some of the screws as well, and this is like their general starter kits, which I think is is twelve pounds fifty. Can't say fairer than that. Great fun for kids. Show it into the camera, Bill. That uh, seems awesome. It's uh, safe as well. You can uh, <laughs> safe enough. Safe enough. Can't <laughs> <Please don't. laughs> <Not really. laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Beautiful. Nice. <laughs> we genuinely have been super excited to get these in. We've just been like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really oh, nice. yeah. I love that blue as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, really cool. nice blue. Yeah. And now we've we've only opened all of these packets, so we've got the excuse not to put them on the shop and use them ourselves. So that's <laughs> kind of cool. We're going to build a cardboard everything. We're going to build a massive fort. <laughs> Maybe for Black we, Friday. We've got no Black shortage Friday of cardboard. We really have no shortage of cardboard. Oh, these are... And these are really rather good books, these, aren't they? These are the Andrea BT books. <laughs> We've had Rosie Revere engineer in for ages, uh, and we just got in Iggy Pack Architect. Is that that both, one? both of us no, in fact twist. have Rosie Revere engineer for our daughters. Don't we? I do, yeah. I do. And Sandy? I don't. You need to, you need to take that to the back and get her into When she gets a little bit older. No, um, stop that now! So we've got Iggy Peck Architect yeah. and we've got Ada Twist Scientist. And they're just really nice books. And I think they're like £10.99 or something. So they're good ones. Let's do other things. <laughs> what, what is this, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> this, this I just soldered it together. Isn't it um, some some guy's project before, though, right? It is, it is a project. Well, very recently there were some tweets going around showing a kind of a, a very hacky setup where someone had stuck a USB port onto their Pi Zero, and, uh, and someone said, "Oh, that's been done before." And then the person who actually did it first came along and said, oh, actually, no, I did that first. Mm -hmm. And the guy's name, if I remember correctly, is Alistair Buxton. He's on IRC as Ali1234. Go and stick that on the close and up. he's um, created this fantastic little board. But this is for the first revision Pi at the moment. Pi Zero, right? So it doesn't, zero, it doesn't yeah. work with the version that has the camera cable. for the version that has the right. camera yet. Um, 
I figured if I brought it on, Bill Shank had shouted about it, I'd be able to force him to make it in quantity and make it available to everyone. <laughs> because that'll be awesome. Cool. So basically, it's using the test pads from so the yeah, USB it, connector, it, right? It uses this fantastic method of kind of creating these little U-shaped cutout channels. They're called be castellations. Crazy. Castellations, that's you, the word. You often see them on um, kind of uh, SMD modules, so pre-assembled modules that you then build into another product. And they're basically tinned oh, uh, semicircles on the edge far. of the board. You should just be able there to make that. But yeah, you basically have to bolt it down and then very carefully drop a bit of solder into there and heat the pad up to make sure it wicks through and sticks. And then yeah. it basically just soldered onto the test points with these castellations. Was it hard to do? Uh, it was not that hard to do. I was using a really massive soldering iron tip, so okay. I really didn't help myself. <laughs> it was, you have it only was yourself tricky, to blame. But it's just a case of getting the pad warm enough just yeah. to get the solder to wick down and stick. Yeah. So it took me a couple of minutes, really not difficult at all, even with a terrible, terrible giant soldering iron tip. But at the end of it, you basically end yeah. up with a, a Pi Zero that's in the format of something like a Crumb stick. Yeah, or an Amazon so you, can just, stick you don't have to worry about remembering the right cable or using these. I use these little short cables that um, have a ghetto USB connector on one end, mm -hmm. and it's great for carrying around and plugging a Pi Zero into my laptop, but it's always falling out. So I'll be halfway in the middle of testing something, and the Pi Zero will have fallen out. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah! Whereas this basically formalises it into a little plug-in dongle Do pie, you. basically. That's nice. Uh, unfortunately, the 1.3 pie with the camera connector has put the camera connector right where you want the USB port to be, so it'll be right there. Yeah. Uh, something's going to have to happen about making that work. And it's also moved some of the test pads around. So Yeah, it needs a rework, we shall see. It? it needs well, a rework, hopefully basically. He'll, uh, but I'm sure there's still plenty of people with old Pi Zeros who'd still want them converted. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool really idea. Really nice. Especially if you're using your zero as like a retro gaming thing or console type Just thing or something bam, like that. Plug and play. Yeah. And of course, Smart. You can stick blinked on there and kind of be blinking away with your laptop. You can. And your Pi on the go. That's it. That's what you do. <laughs> My laptop is filthy. <laughs> got, some <laughs> nice, got some nice lens flare lens on the close up camera. Shreed. Oh, from the Shreed. LED. GG Abrams style. Nice. GG Abrams. And. The only other thing we had that we were going to talk about was our new documentation that you've been working yes. on. So we're looking to kind of formalise the way that we document our products. Uh, previously, <coughs> we've tended to do like the learning portal article, which we'll still do because that's more of the kind of soft side of it. Uh, and we've had like examples in the GitHub repo and usually a little bit in the readme.md yeah, People file. learn in different ways, don't they? they so do. Some people take an example and they feel like by modifying that example and exploring and playing around, that's how they'll figure out. Some people need to read and understand all the documentation first before approaching a project. So we're trying to cover off all the bases, basically. Yeah. And some people want like a, a straight reference straight document. Reference, they just want to look yeah. at the, you know, yeah, what's the API? Yeah, the GitHub readme. Document. Yeah, that's, that's kind of thing. Well, yeah, that's what all that's what we're now to yeah. be superseded by docs. 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 So is that automatically generated from this doc, is doc strings and the, automatically and the yeah generated yeah. from the doc strings in the pipe yeah. libraries with a little bit of fudging to try and get the the format <laughs> and the browsability wanted because um, in many cases Sphinx worked against me hmm. so I'm still getting my head around it. Uh, but it's it's worked out quite nicely and it produces these um, kind of very straightforward, very to the point docs that contain all of the methods from the library and all of the doc strings from the library. So the same doc strings you see here, you can actually find by just saying help and then function name in the library itself. <laughs> which which you, is yeah, you can do super point. useful. But it does give you like that single page reference for all the methods that we have on say the micro.fat yeah. Python library. Very, very quick and straightforward. You don't have to go digging around the examples. To try and Quite find or out digging around in the library itself and all That's sorts it. of other stuff. And this is a work in progress. So this we're going to keep adding progress, yeah, our products adding, into this and ultimately make it like an um, exhaustive Try and get list. technical details and stuff in there. For moat, for example, mm -hmm. I've got dimensions and measurements Ooh, and nice. kind of things you need for mounting moat and stuff. So this is all the dry technical information you need to actually make use of this product and, and do something worthwhile with it. So, <laughs> nice I've ASCII gone for little ASCII diagrams because <coughs> they worked and they don't require any kind of image download. So okay. kind of there's a there's a cool system. tool that will convert ASCII diagrams like that into graphics. <laughs> so we should probably just do that and then run it through there at the end. Amazing! <laughs> I awesome. can't believe a tool like that exists. There's a couple of them it's actually, incredible. but they're, they're quite impressive. Uh, and the other thing that's very exciting from a software point of view is we have quite a lot of we our products have, now yeah, in the official the app actual repositories, app, yeah. right? It's so the official you, Raspbian app repo, yeah. So if you do a, an apt get update on your Pi and then do apt 
cash search <laughs> explorer hat, then. you'll see our um, full software library stuff in the Raspbian repository. So you can then just do a app get install. And away you go. Which no need to go and find the pip. Rogue has been working like an absolute machine. Rogue is awesome. Developing he, he, tools and packaging up everything. Because he, he spends the time to read and understand all the nuances <laughs> and the, the politics, I should yeah. say, of Linux app packaging, which is a massive, huge, painful minefield. And um, Serge, the guy responsible for incoming packages, said to us, oh, you're the first guys who submit packages that weren't broken the first time. <laughs> and that's only so because Rogue back did it. Of the net. <laughs> <I'm> back <laughs> Um, but he's done a great job on them. And you, you might know Rogue from the forums, because he also yeah, hangs he around there <laughs> providing support a lot. He is the forum ninja. He is the forum ninja. That's really cool. So I expect to see more of that going. Expect products like brand new products coming in. It will take a little while for them to hit the repeat repositories. Yes. Like two so or three weeks, stuff maybe. Stuff that but hits up is generally, if we're lucky, within a week, because it's okay. checked on a weekly basis. Um, if it's something like a, a bug fix because we've stuffed something up, then it could be sooner because we'll, we'll send an email and say, please, please, put that package live and stuff something up. But generally, the release cycle will be weekly. Weekly, okay. Um, so it, it won't take long. Kind of a product will be available and you'll be able to install it with our one-line installer anyway. And mm -hmm. then when it comes available to apt, the one-line installer changes over where it the source is the library from and it pulls it from oh, right. get instead. So you basically just do sudo <coughs> apt get install Python hyphen blinked, for example, yeah. or Python it's 3 hyphen blinked, or both. Depending on which flavour of Python you are. Python 3, it should be Python 3. Always Python. Python 3. Excellent. <coughs> so that's very good. And we'll have some sort of learning content for this soon. Yep. yep. Getting started, Kate. <laughs> it's very someone very someone, someone poison in tap. I yeah, someone in the chat's talking about poison tap with uh, that reference is, um, to the ESP thing. I would not plug a poison tap into my laptop. Um, maybe if I got a laptop that had nothing on it and, and did it as a test. But yeah, poison tap. You've all read the Hacker News article, right? I don't think so. You, so you're, you're uncharacteristically behind. So this is essentially Ill. a guy that's written a, an image for the Pi Zero, mm -hmm. um, where you plug it in. Uh, in USB gadget modes right, okay. to uh, um, you know, a computer yeah. and it can be locked as well so it doesn't actually have to be unlocked <coughs> you plug it in and essentially it, um, it, it completely uh, <laughs> takes over your machine um, it's uh, it, it rather ingenious how they did it I didn't believe it would be possible when I first saw it do you yeah. remember those um, Teensies that get sold on eBay for cracking yeah, passwords. Rubber, rubber yeah, yeah. yeah I calls. thought it was going to be another one of yeah. those, but no, it it requires like responds to like the DHCP request or runs a DHCP server that actually convinces your computer that it is the internet, yeah. uh, and then everything your computer does is routed through, through that pipe. Yeah. At which point, all it needs is one web request, and it just bombards your your browser with um, what was it, a million iframes? Or something. Yeah. iPhones yeah. are like a million popular websites, yeah. and just steals all your cookies from all of these popular websites, and then permanently DNS cache poisons you. And it's just it's so sounds, insidious. Yeah. Sounds like bad times. <laughs> but yeah, the, the guy that the guy that's done it, um, I've seen something on his YouTube channel that was kind of um, equally horrible. <laughs> um, he's obviously Horribly like real brilliant. kind of um, evil genius. Yeah, an evil genius <laughs> and that kind of thing. But um, it's yeah, it's pretty. Uh, the good thing about it is at the end of the video it kind of explains about how to kind of combat against it. Yeah. Um, so if you have a website basically just only use HTTPS, mm -hmm. um, that's that's like the, the ultimate way around it. Yeah, um, basically it stops man in the middle of that. Also enable file vault if you have a Mac, um, because when it's locked you can't uh, access anything on the mm. hard disk, ah, um, because it's all encrypted. Um, so There's Very nice. nothing interesting on my hard disk <laughs> 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 It's um, just all everything in GitHub. Yes, that's all we have time for. So, we will see you next week. Black Friday next week! Oh no. It's ah. going to be awesome, it's going to be awesome. <coughs> it's going to be chaos. I'll be in Norwich. <laughs> You're not. Oh god. Uh, it'll be fine. So we're going to have uh, we're going to have Bilge Tank next week, Thursday as usual. Uh, a special on Friday for Black Friday, a special on Monday for Cyber Monday. We'll be running Yabuti over the long weekend. We have some other promotional cool stuff that's happening. Yeah. More be to be revealed soon. Be here over the weekend. See you later, folks. Don't long forget to weekend. like, a comment, and subscribe to this video and the channel in general. Bye. Bye. Fade to black. FDB. It's not working. It's not working, is it? Hi. <laughs>
Bye bye. <laughs> bye, bye.